Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. And this is something that really annoys electricians and anybody that works on electrical boxes, changing out receptacles or switches and so forth. This is a short wire. So what do you do with this short wire? How do you properly extend it? And what is the new code for 2023 that applies to splicing wires? You're going to have to splice this wire to get it to the proper length. See all these wires here reach three inches outside of the box. Now notice this box isn't just a regular box. It has a mud ring on it. We will discuss that as well. Do the wires have to extend three inches beyond the box or three inches beyond the mud ring that is on the box? We're going to give that some discussion, but mainly we're going to show how to extend then short wires like this and what is the new code regarding them here we are at NEC 2023 300.14 length of free conductors at outlets junctions and switch points and look down here we have a shaded area that means if you look down at the bottom of the page that means new material right here so let's go over this at least 150 millimeters that's six inches of free conductor measured from the point in the box where it emerges from its raceway or cable sheath shall be left at each outlet, junction, and switch point for splices or the connection of luminaries or devices. This is the new part for 2023. The 150 millimeters, six inches, free conductor shall be permitted to be spliced or unspliced where the opening to an outlet junction or switch point is less than 200 millimeters that's eight inches in any dimension each conductor shall be long enough to extend at least 75 millimeters that's three inches outside the opening exception conductors that are not spliced or terminated at the outlet junction or switch point shall not be required to comply with 300.14. So all of our white and black wires are at least six inches long starting from the end of the cable sheath. So that's good. And they all reach at least three inches outside the opening. So that's good. But we have a problem with our red wire. So it's going to have to be spliced. The 150 millimeters or 6 inches free conductor shall be permitted to be spliced or unspliced. And I'm going to show you how I would prefer to splice it. But then that puts it in with the rest of this code here. So it also has to be the minimum length of our white and black wires. So it says here, each conductor shall be long enough to extend at least three inches outside the opening. So do we go from the outside of the actual box or the outside of the mud ring? Now, look up here. It's, it's talking about the opening to an outlet. So the opening to the outlet would be the mud ring. Because that's where you put your receptacle or your switch. It would be on the mud ring. So in my interpretation, the wire has to be at least three inches outside of the mud ring that you put on the box. My two preferred splicing devices would be the two connector Wago lever nut and the two connector Wago wire splicer. And of the two, I prefer the wire splicer and I'll show you why. First, we'll strip the wire. Okay, here's the Wago splicing connector. Just put it on, click it down. And then here's our pigtail. Put it in, click it down. You're spliced. You're ready to go. Uh, let's see what kind of length we got. We are well beyond three inches over the edge of the mud ring. Now let's try it with a two connector Wago lever nut. Put it in all the way, click it down. And see the problem with this is part of the wire has to go the wrong direction. So let's uh, measure it up and see. It's with the same pigtail, it's not quite three inches. While this is a good wire connector, as long as you use a slightly longer pigtail to use for this splicing job, 
I think that the actual wire splicing connector does an even better job. So the moral of the story here is that even if you have to splice a wire to get it to the proper length, that new spliced wire will have to meet the same codes as the regular unspliced wires, according to 2023 NEC 300.14. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thank you.